A left atrial appendage clip, or atriclip, is a minimally invasive procedure performed robotically to treat atrial fibrillation, also known as AFib. AFib affects your heart's ability to pump blood normally. This can cause blood to pool and clot in an area of the heart called the left atrial appendage. This procedure is recommended to people who have a conflict with taking blood thinners. If you're diagnosed with AFib, you're at a higher risk of developing blood clots in the left atrial appendage, which can lead to a stroke. The standard recommendation for AFib is to prescribe a blood thinner. However, if you are unable to take blood thinners, this procedure is recommended because the clip is placed outside of the heart, so it will not interfere with the bloodstream, unlike the alternative procedure called the Watchman. Other reasons you may be a candidate. You have a condition that causes bleeding in the brain. Your left atrial appendage is too small, too big, or too shallow. Your left atrial appendage might have multiple lobes that need to be treated. You have a gastric or intestinal disorder that may cause you to bleed on blood thinners. You have a bladder or urinary condition that may cause you to bleed on blood thinners. You are prone to bruising or nosebleeds. The left atrial appendage clip has been found to decrease the risk of stroke and to give the patient the option to stop taking blood thinners. However, there are still risks that you should be aware of. Risks include injury and bleeding, needing open heart surgery, having a heart attack, worsening of arrhythmia, having a stroke. The listed possible complications are assumed and estimated to be very rare. Our surgical team uses a surgical robot to minimize the invasiveness of the CLIP procedure. It requires general anesthesia. You will have four small keyhole incisions on the left side of your chest. You might notice a small rubber drain as you wake up in the recovery room. Most patients are discharged within one day, but your surgeon may recommend a longer stay. Once the rubber drain is removed and you are discharged, there are no restrictions and you may resume normal activity. The clip is made of titanium and polyester, so there is no chance of it moving or migrating to another part of the body. We want to make sure you have full understanding about your upcoming procedure. The atrial clip does not cure AFib. If you have symptoms related to AFib, like palpitations or shortness of breath, it would not be expected to resolve those symptoms. It helps you by eliminating the need to take blood thinners and the chance for excess bleeding to develop, which ultimately reduces your risk of a stroke and provides a better quality of life. If you have any questions or concerns, we encourage you to speak to your surgeon.